Hello everybody, Dokkan Assets here. Today we are back with another figure unboxing video and today in the spirit of Dragon Ball Heroes currently being a huge thing in the Dokkan community right now, I figured I would take a look at this little Dragon Ball Heroes box that I have had sitting in my room for a while. Did that just come off of the order? I sure hope not. <laughs> We're going to be looking at Dragon Ball Heroes Adverge 2 today. I wanted to take a little break from looking at the current Ichiban Kuchi line that we're looking at and take a look at this A, well, again, because Heroes is sort of relevant right now, and B, well, I just kind of wanted to take a break on it. And next week, we will be returning with it. And hey, you know, it's always good to mix it up. I always review bigger figures, Ichiban Kuchi man presto prize figures and whatnot so it's always refreshing to take a look at something a little bit different now i usually don't collect mini figures like this um just because well i mean funny enough they cost a lot like this whole box right here wasn't too bad all things considered it was 40 bucks um which may seem like a lot to you but because each of these figures can actually go for mm, like ten dollars which is kind of ridiculous, all things considered. Um, you can probably tell that that isn't such a bad deal for all of these guys. Obviously, um, since this is Dragon Ball Heroes, we're taking a look at a bunch of Dragon Ball Heroes characters today. Even though I, I don't think that that technically counts, I'm pretty sure that that's still technically Capsule Corp Goku. Um, but obviously, we have Xeno Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. We have Xeno Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Golden Metal Cooler Core. The dark, uh, full power... Dark Dragon Ball Possessed Broly, ridiculous name Broly, even though he doesn't have the mask, and obviously we have Super Saiyan Blue Beat there. Um, all of the characters' portraits on the back, which is pretty cool. And then we have a bunch of information on this side as well. The top of the box does look pretty cool with all of the boys being represented. I'm sorry about the light, my ring light is currently on and i was like bro this box is so simple uh, the ring light doesn't really matter for this one <laughs> so we're gonna take a look at these these are minifigures um really the only minifigures that i collect funny enough are dragon ball heroes minifigures there are uh wcf adverge the skills figures and i think that that's it for dragon ball heroes minifigures i would like to be able to collect all of them at some point um adverge doesn't have that many so it'll be pretty easy to complete I was knocking out WCF for a while. There's a couple of videos actually that on the channel um, if you want to go check those out. Um, but I'm still working on completing that set at some point. So the cool thing about this is that they're all in here as you can see, which is very, very nice. Um, I love, love, love that Dragon Ball Adverge, if you just buy like the whole box, um, it is not too bad because, you know, you get them all and you don't have to worry about you know, any missing or, like, any, um, you know, any shenanigans with, like, Gashapon if you're, you know, trying to get the character, um, that you want. Obviously, these all come together, which is very, very cool. So, let's go ahead and get them all out here. This set is really interesting. Obviously, um, it is sort of reminiscent of Dragon Ball Adverge 1 with some of the characters, like, I believe Super Saiyan 4, uh, Xeno Goku was in the first one and that's why he's not present here i could be wrong on that don't quote me on that um but a very interesting variety of characters obviously most of these um are from the prison planet arc um goku and all of, basically all of these guys are from the prison planet arc but then these two are just kind of like i mean beat makes sense because he's the protagonist but i don't know why he's here <laughs> i'm gonna be honest kind of an interesting choice all things considered but let's go ahead and take a look at these guys um should we just go in order i guess we'll just go in order of the box so that means that goku um is up first because it goes like this yeah so we'll just do it this way we'll just keep the boys here these guys are very small by the way i'm sure that you've noticed uh from the perspective of the camera by the way here is the first box the super super saiyan what am i talking about bro master dolce instinct goku he doesn't have the capsule corp logo unfortunately um because obviously well that would be right there but it's ripped off so let's go ahead and open the boy up so yeah like i said these can actually get pretty expensive um for the standard adverge line um these can actually go for 10 bucks a pop i do have a couple of these and i think i've opened one in a gogeta video um i do have plans to open another one in a super saiyan 3 goku video that i have coming up by the way the other cool thing about this is that as you can see this little piece of gum fell out 
basically what this is is this is well i mean a piece of candy wow i could have told you that <laughs> but essentially these are candy figures and essentially it is a thing in japan where um because it has a piece of candy in it they can put it in the candy aisle at the store so the idea is that you know oh well you know you're going shopping at the supermarket with your mom you know and then you see these little dragon ball figures in there and you're like oh mom can we get the can we get the dragon ball heroes average 2 master no instinct goku <laughs> you know because obviously they're allowed to put it in the candy aisle because well it has a piece of candy in it so technically it's candy right and that's why these are referred to in japan as candy toys here is goku um obviously not the best Many figures um, are very hit or miss on their face sculpts. His mouth is a little bit long. I do like the paint that they use for the Master of Ultra Instinct, though. Very shiny. It is kind of weird. I will say the blue on the box here. Let's just shove this uh, back in here. I will try the candy, by the way, um, just for, you know, just for the memes. Oh, actually, that's cool. I didn't even notice it says number one on the box. If we take a look here, it definitely seems like that the blue is well yeah it's definitely a shade brighter on the box just by a little bit but it's not too bad it's definitely not too bad um all things considered though there is a little bit of paint uh mishap towards the ob which is kind of unfortunate but the boots look actually really good um i love the very very small detail that is sculpted and painted in there Really, really cool stuff. Not a bad figure. And I really like Dragon Ball Adverge figures because they have um, fantastic minifigure stands. It literally just supports the figure. And then they stand up really well like that, which is cool. I don't know if this box is going to stand anymore because I opened it from the bottom. But it's okay. We'll just let it tip and then we'll put the boy over there. All right. We'll save that for the end. It should be the same piece of candy in every single one um, just because, I mean, well, that would kind of make sense. These are all made by Bandai, by the way, if you couldn't tell. I mean, literally every Dragon Ball piece of merch nowadays is made by Bandai. They sort of have a monopoly. I, I don't know how it's not illegal. <laughs> Bandai be tripping, bro. All right, so this is Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Uh, let's see, does he have... Same blue piece of candy. All right. Uh, by the way, I did get this from, I believe the website is called Card Otaku. Um, they have some very cool Dragon Ball Heroes card stuff and some pokemon card stuff and they occasionally sell figures as well um this was just the cheapest i could find it on that website and i was buying some other stuff anyway and i wanted to get free shipping so i was like you know what bro sure we'll get it because i've been trying to uh pick up this set for a while there's a couple of like figure sets that i kind of always have lingering in the back of my mind that i you know occasionally just kind of look around for um whenever i'm doing my you know figure ah figure snooping um on ebay and whatnot this guy does have a tail by the way which is interesting that is super small though is there a there is a notch there for that i don't know if i'm gonna be able to like show you that because it's actually so tiny if the camera can pick it up I'll be genuinely impressed. Wow, I'm genuinely impressed. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that fits in there. Um, it seems very delicate, though. Like, it is not staying in there very well. I'm just going to, like, put it like that and then keep it. Okay, so this doesn't look too, too bad. His face is kind of goofy, I will say. Um, the smirk on him doesn't really look that good. Um, there is... I don't know what happened here, bro. There's, like, a bunch of bunch of garbaloni right there i'm not exactly sure and there's also some splitting uh in the chest area but i mean far away you don't look too bad <laughs> he kind of reminds me of a safobi figure with that face um i will say though even though i do love the xeno super saiyan 4s i do think the vegeta's design is the weakest personally just because like goku keeps the whole like bottom cloak thing and vegeta literally basically just has black pants and and saying gloves and boots it's kind of lame. Um, I wish that they would have done something more with his Super Saiyan 4 design, but not the worst thing in the world. All right. Now for the GOAT Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. I do like how all of these are colored in theme. By the way, another thing I forgot to mention um, is that these did come out for the ninth anniversary. It was so interesting, and Baggy actually pointed this out on Twitter. Um, they did a ton of merch 
for the ninth anniversary of Heroes. And this year, in terms of merch, they literally are doing like one figure in terms of things that aren't like giveaways and prizes and stuff like that. Which is so crazy to me because I would think that it would be a bigger deal for the 10th anniversary. I think they're doing some other merch besides that. But like, they did no mini figures this year or anything like that. They did no, um, you know, they didn't do, what else did they do last year? They did mini figures. They did, I think they did stick, no, they are doing stickers this year. I don't remember all the logistics, but... Um, regardless, they did do a lot more last year in terms of merch. Sorry, I think I keep bumping the microphone. I'm trying not to. I'm still getting used to this, uh, this new setup here. Did Vegito? Did he just, I swear I just heard the bag pop. Let's see. Alright, so, let's go ahead and put the tail on him. Hopefully this isn't too complicated. Wow, okay. Actually, he does not look too bad. Let's slap that boy on there. Um, there is, it looks like there's, um... A perforation for it but it's just so hard to tell if it's actually in there because obviously since it's so small and delicate all right I'm not gonna lie he is really good for a minifigure that is not bad his eyes are maybe a little bit too close together but all things considered that is not a bad Super Saiyan 4 Vegito I actually think I like this one better than my big Ichiban Kuji one. The face looks a little bit better. And I love a little bit of character in the tail, how it's kind of poking up to the side. Even the Patara look good. There's no real, like, silver part on it. It's kind of just a ball, but I think it captures the look just fine. Very, very cool. And I love that they even included the cut at the back. Not bad! Not bad! Okay, I see you, bro. I see you. That is 100% not a bad minifigure right there. Wow. Okay. I actually really like that. I'm going to say right now, so far, you know, if I were to recommend you getting any of these figures, Vegito would definitely be the one to cop. He is pretty good. I also think I forgot to take the candy out of him, but that's okay. Cooler! Let's take a look at the boy Metal Cooler. It would be cool if in another Dragon Ball Heroes Adverge set, they made a Golden Cooler to go along with this guy, or a uh, Golden Metal Cooler, rather. Oh my gosh, I can feel his bald round head yo okay actually this one might be my favorite hold up this is kind of sick i didn't expect them to do such a good job with the metallic paint uh by the way there it is blue candy we'll, we'll collect all of that at the end we're collecting the candy dragon balls right now bro here let's uh let's oh ooh, actually never mind let me not do it through there um that end of the tail let's take a look at this actually seems to be very very delicate yeah interesting love the detailing on that though wow focus for me camera there we go it's so weird this side looks blue and then this side oh it is silver wait that's actually accurate yo yo okay cooler i see you bro Let, bro he's punching out <laughs> for thousands of years i lay dormant inside the big yeti star <laughs> all right Slap that boy right back in the box. You, you know we got to keep it clean here on the Dokkan Assets channel. There we go, bro. Alright, we'll just slap that upside down. This looks really good. I will say, his face looks like a little bit too small. Like, his eyes look a little bit too close together. But the paint job is impressive for how small this guy is. I will say, let's slap the tail on him. This one should be a little bit easier to uh, to get the perforation in there because obviously it's it's a little bit more obvious or not. I I think my brain is short circuiting, <laughs> just like Cooler did in that part. Okay, wow, that actually connects in really well. That wow completed. That looks even better, and you can actually see um, the little bit of blues and silvers from the different angles of this minifigure. Wow, that is not bad. I really like that. I think the paint on the eye is crisp as well. That is nice. Wow, actually from that angle, that's really cool. I really like this one. This one actually might be my favorite. That is the other cool thing. Uh, oh, is there a spot for the tail? Um, it looks like there's just a little indent, I guess. Interesting. That is one other cool thing, though, that I will say about um, these um, WCF and Adverge and, you know, Versus and um, all those other, like, minifigures lines from Dragon Ball is that the villains do get a lot of love compared to the normal prize figures, which is cool. And there he is, on the little stand. 
It does have a little spot for his tail with the cut in in the back. So that's cool. It literally just rests on there. Wow. He might just be the best one so far. I'm not sure. Brody sama. Ooh, Dark Brody. I really want to get the Ichiban Kuji last one Dark Broly. Um, and the Super Saiyan 4 Broly as well from that same Ichiban Kuji set. Um, and they are literally as big as King Cluster Broly, which is crazy. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the last one one because unless I import it, it is super expensive to get it. Um, well, I mean, even with importing, it's still super expensive. But nonetheless, I would love to get that at some point. I would probably rather get Super Saiyan 4 Broly normal though, just because I do think that that figure looks a little bit better. Speaking of which, this is probably going to be the biggest boy uh, that we take a look at today. Let's get the stand out of here. Appropriately enough, he has a stand. I do like, I know it's not intentional, but... I like how all the stands kind of look like a crown. That's cool. Oh, I didn't even notice that there's a number five on there. That's pretty sick. Obviously, um, you know, noting which figure it is in the set. Because typically how these things work, right, is that these boxes are stuck in, you know, like I said, grocery stores and whatnot. And then they just open the top flap on the box that we opened initially. And then you can kind of just pick and choose what figure you want out of there. Broly, okay, let, let's, let's, hmm, I don't really see a mouth, <laughs> it's kind of there, it's kind of there, but it's not completely there, let's see, oh my gosh, bro, how, how, how do I do this, how am I supposed to, how, bro, literally how, hold on, how does this go in, I, I have no idea, like that, wait, let's look at the box, I can't... Do they even have the tail plugged in on the box? I don't think they do. <laughs> Wait a minute. I can't really tell with the other box either. All right, well. Is it... Yeah, I, I guess it's in there. I don't know if I literally just, like, jammed it in there incorrectly. Because it... No, it's coming from the other side. Did I literally just, like... Well, it's stuck now. It's staying like that. All right. <laughs> So there's the back of it. I do like the rip detail and stuff, obviously. Um, minifigures tend to forget about the back side of the figure, so that is really cool. I love the gold paint detail um, on the metallic parts of Broly. It is kind of a shame that there is a little bit of paint mishap you can see um, in there, but they even bothered to paint the chains gold right in there, which is crazy to me. Um, but I do like this figure a lot. Very cool. A good representation of Dark Broly. Unfortunately, the Dragon Ball isn't actually painted in there um i do think that there is a star painted in there but it's just really hard to see with the kind of paint that they use but not bad i do like that broly a lot actually um i'll have to see if my tail is wrong and like <laughs> look at another video or something like that um to see if i got that wrong but yeah so that's why it's always nice to buy these you know boxes full like this because realistically you know it would be sitting out you know at the supermarket in the candy aisle with just like you know the box open i believe the um oh well actually it doesn't fold back like normal but basically you just you know pick one out of here and it just be sitting there like that so the fact that we got the full set is sick here is the final one the homie beato this is very exciting i'm always very glad to get some beat figures because beat and note especially note did i just cut my desk you know, maybe it wasn't a smart idea to, like, actually cut down. <laughs> to be fair, this thing is pretty old. I've been using this thing in my room for since I was a little baby. Um, and it's had many uses over the years. So, not not that bad. It's just a little nick. All right. Perfect. So, let's see how this figure stacks up. Um, I am very curious to see what they do for the hair on this one. Ooh, this is actually a really cool pose, too. There's the piece of candy. I will eat that, by the way, at the end. Just to... You know, satisfy your curiosity. All right. Stand. This guy has no tail because it is wrapped around his body. So we don't have to worry about that this time. I really hope I did that Broly tail right. I don't think I did, though, because... Well, no, the other tail for Vegito is pointing the other way. All right, so here is Beat. Not bad. I think his eyebrows are a little bit too far up his cranium. Um, and it's weird because on camera... The blue is capturing, like, a lot darker of a blue than it actually is in person. This is a lot more like a, hmm, like a candle ocean blue. I don't really know how to describe it. Whereas on camera, 
it's coming out a lot darker. But I do like the uh, minor use of translucent plastic um, in his hair. I think that that adds a really cool effect. I don't know if it's capturing on camera, but as you can see, there is the tail wrapped around him and his belt. I really like this outfit for Beat 2, so it's cool. I, I don't understand the towel, even though I think it's cool. <laughs> I don't really get it, but hey, whatever. They also did sculpt in some very nice boot detail as well, just like they did on the first Goku figure that we took a look at. All right, and I do like the he's on a little bit of an angle, right, rather than being like straight on like the rest of these boys. And that is it for the complete set of the Dragon Ball Heroes Adverge 2. Um, this is a nice little minifigure set. Obviously, minifigures are a great way to spice up any collection, especially if you're a Dragon Ball Heroes fanboy like me. Let me actually um, bring these guys in closer so you're not looking at uh, pixels here. These guys are cool, though. Um, Broly has a ton of heft to him. That is, wow. He is a big boy indeed. Let me get these guys organized for you. Now, for this kind of thing, I feel like these size comparisons aren't as much of a necessity as they are in other videos, since it's kind of clear that these are minifigures. But I figured, what the heck, let's at least do a couple of comparisons. Here is the WCF Dokkan Battle Super Saiyan Blue Goku. You can see that these are truly minifigures, because I consider the WCF line these minifigures. But these are like mini, mini figures, bro. They are very, very small. Let's take a look at the homie Gotenks. I just knocked Broly's box. As you can see, towers over these boys. He is, uh, compared to them, an absolute monster. He's never really been bigger than uh, than anything that we've had here before. So he, he is fairly the big boy here. And then I figured just for the sake of things, let's bring out one more Dragon Ball Heroes figure. That being the Mass Saiyan. Please excuse the dust on his head. Uh, yeah, these guys are tiny, bro. But they do make a nice little set. Obviously, you know, you could have some kind of setup with these guys if you really wanted to. It's focusing on Bardock and not the minifigures. Camera, please, bro. Focus on the start of the show. All right, fine. I'll remove it so you can focus on what's actually important here. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. Unfortunately, I don't know if I have a link for you today to pick these guys up. As oddly enough, these minifigures do tend to go uh, pretty quickly quickly and pretty expensively and aren't really available on most normal sites because i think most places find it kind of pointless to import them i'll leave a link to the website where i bought them i'm not sure if they are currently sold out or not but i'll leave some links in the description to some other dragon ball heroes figures if you would like to take a look at those i am trying to get my hands on the super saiyan 4 broly figure so Keep an eye out for that if I can get my hands on those. Also, if you would like to support me on Patreon, I do have that now. I am trying to maybe eventually be able to do two figure unboxings a week if I can get to that point, which would be awesome. At the moment, though, I just can't do it. But right now, I'm loving the figure unboxings that I'm doing. They are a ton of fun, and it's always nice to spice it up and do some stuff like this. Finally, let's go ahead and eat this gum. Now, this is certainly an angle that you're not used to seeing, huh? <laughs> this is behind the scenes of how I record these videos. Let's take one of these little pieces of gum and give it an old taste test. I assume it's blueberry. I've eaten gum out of candy figures like this before. I will say the one scary thing about this, I don't know why I'm looking over there. I should be looking at this part where the actual camera is. This has been in this box for, like, a long time. <laughs> so, I don't know. Let's just see how it tastes. Oh, okay. So it's like... Hmm. It's actually pretty good. I can't tell the flavor, though. My mind is telling me blueberry. But I'm not sure if that's just because the candy is blue. Yeah, I can't really tell what flavor it is. It's good, though. <laughs> I'll probably eat the rest of them. <laughs> Alright, well, hey, if you're looking for some Dragon Ball minifigures that are pretty cool, and you're looking for some candy to munch on while you open them up, definitely cop this set. I'll see you guys in the next one. Dokkan Assets out. Peace. Man, I will say, after chewing this for a little bit,
the flavor is absolutely gone. I think it's only been like 20 seconds since I stopped recording the video. And the flavor is basically all gone. I need to, I need to 